Hello comrades, this is Comrade Entertainment, and today we are back again with Elder Scrolls Blades. So let's get started. So today I think I'll uh, go into the guild and multiplayer aspect of the game. So as, when you press guild for the first time, it will ask you to choose an avatar, and this is what other players will see you as. So I've got quite a cool collection here. So I think I'll go for maybe this little orc guy, he seems quite cool. So I'll join the guild today, trade materials, chat, shop in guildmates towns and look at other characters. So we can either find a guild or create a guild. I think I might create one. Or choose whether it's invite only or if anyone can join. We select our region, so I'm going to say Europe. And we can add a description as well. I'll just put that in for now. Nope. <laughs> Seems like it didn't save. Choose a little uh, emblem here. So, this is the typical Elder Scroll from the games, these two. This, I believe, is either the Thalmor or the Empire's logo. And we've got a few other cool ones as well. So, I quite like the look of this one because it's quite neutral, but it shows off that warrior sword aspect. So it will cost us 50 gems to create, but that's no biggie. And there you go, we've created our first guild. And of course you can also leave if you've already joined one and joined others. And we can search our competitors and other guilds as well. So yeah, if you fancy uh, joining my guild and having a chat, and maybe even playing together in some way. You can join my guild here. It's open for anyone. So uh, I hope to see some of you there. We can also chat and request items here, which is quite useful if you have a few players and if you're pretty you can let on something in particular. But with that, I think we'll uh, start another quest. And if you remember from last time, we still need to kill 10 goblins. So I think I'll do this red and white goblin quest. Level 9 recommended. Only one skull, so it shouldn't be too hard. Jenny Matthias says goblins are hiding out in her patch of forest. I need to root them out. Read Jenny's scroll for all goblins. 0 out of 10. So just enough. Let's get started. We also have one secret room to find. So I'll uh, put that in the description as usual. So we'll look around.
Got a little beehive over here, hiding in the corner. Just switch my mace because these guys are weak to shock and mace or bashing down. Sorry. So perfect goblin killer this weapon. Just open this wooden chest. So as you may have seen, uh, just as we come into this little village area we've got the sparkling secret room totem level over there so it's pretty early in the quest probably second or third corner like I said when you first see these wooden huts and cages and defeat these three goblins so we'll just collect this bone lever here and the secret rooms on the left and this little wooden door open here and it looks like we get a chest Nothing too fancy, but always good. And it looks like we've got a second one here. Hopefully we get a bit better loot. Not too bad. So let's carry on. What's your favourite monster you've seen so far? I personally love the goblins, even though they're not Anything too special, but they're quite cute and uh, brave in their own way. And speaking of, it looks like we've got a new goblin type here. White Hand Warrior, I think it said. Oh, White Ghost Warrior. A little bit more health, but still fairly easy to kill. But yeah. Like I said, put in the description below. Let's have a little chat, see what our favourite monsters are. So we face trolls, skeletons, weights, all sorts. So it'll be interesting to see what everyone's favourite creature is. little bit down here, see if there's any extra loot. Looks like we've also got a shaman here. And with that we complete the quest. I'm just going to explore a little bit, grab this loot we got. And this chest that's hiding in this corner here. So as you may remember it's always good to explore the map again. Once you've finished quests, some loot might drop before picking it up. Or some more 
maybe hiding around corners. But it looks like we got everything in the first one. So I'll just complete our little goblin hunter challenge here and complete the quest. Hello again, warrior. I've got a treat for you. You've got the air of someone who's been killing goblins. A stench, I should say. It went well then. The goblins are teaming up. I beg your pardon? What do you mean, teaming up? They had markings from multiple tribes. And they weren't at each other's throats. No, just mine. Damn, that's the last thing this town needs. Just this morning I thought things just couldn't get any worse. Now we've got the Empire's very first Goblin Alliance on our backs. Hmm. Before I can report this to the Empire, we'd better be certain. Let me do some checking around. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, by the way, I received a message that a group of Thalmor is on its way here. What do they want? Apparently they're looking for a criminal on the run. Probably a teleporter. Anyway, they said they were looking for local fighters to act as their enforcers. So I thought of you. Fare thee well, warrior. Goblins have been pretty quiet these days. Come back. According to the message, the Thalmor should arrive any day now. Good day, friend. Good day. And I think that will do it for this episode. So we've learned how to do uh, gills and what we can do with them. And we've also defeated some goblins and completed all our challenges. So uh, quite a short video, but like I said in the previous one, hopefully I'll upload them both at the same time and with a bit of extra stuff for you all to watch. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye for now, comrades.